Good evening, this is Between the Lines Live at Facebook, the Sandusky Register's Facebook page. This is Decision 2017 live from the Anchor Desk at Sandusky Register. My first guests this evening are Perkins Police Chief Rob Parthamore, Assistant Chief Vince Donald, and Assistant Fire Chief Dave Murphy. And you're here to express support for the fire levy and the police levy, but you both support the, both levies. Right. How important are these levies to the township? And we'll start with you, Chief. Well, it's super important. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I can speak for the police department and say that uh, uh, ninety percent of our budget comes from this levy. Right. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty much all of our budget. Right. Um, you know, with that being said, we've put our best foot forward. You know, we've asked uh, everybody for the support throughout the, the past few weeks and. Uh, um, you know, we've gotten some good feedback. We haven't had much negative feedback, so we feel um, hopeful that it's going to pass. Well, safety services in the township have certainly um, rebounded in reputation, uh, you know, in the few years. I mean, you're, you're named chief this year and assistant chief this year. Um, this is a renewal levy. Correct. Was How many years ago was it first passed? 2013. So, a five year, it's a five-year levy? Correct. And this is a five-year renewal? Correct. And uh, voters uh, are voting on it today, and they've been voting since early voting began in uh, early October, I think. Um, are you hopeful? Are you confident? I, I, I feel confident. I, I, I think that, you know, we've done a lot in the community. The community showed us a lot of support. So um, I feel pretty good about it. I haven't heard a lot of negative. Um, and yet you hear that, you know, in the community too. I mean, you know, because if there are problems, you hear about them. You know, they, they, they come up. And certainly, uh, you know, you've had a good run uh, with Chief Claymore and now with you, Chief Parthamore. So I wish you the best of luck in getting that passed. And, and uh, it's an important uh, part of the Perkins Township uh, budget. And safety services certainly are a busy operation. How many police officers are there? Uh, our normal staffing has us at 23, but we are down a couple, so we're mm -hmm. 20 right now. And that's been pretty consistent through the years, hasn't it, about that level? I mean, okay. you, you had a time where you would cut back for, for a bit, and you, you're back to the level. Is this the highest level that you've, you've no. had? It, no, at one time, Perkins Police Department had 31 officers. Really? Yeah, and you know, we've, we've slowly cut back over the years, and then uh, with the levy, we've learned to live within our budget, and that's why we haven't added anything to the levy. Mm -hmm. This is a, strictly a renewal. Um, you know, we're going to live within our means. So, and and do you feel like you're fully staffed, or, or? well, you're never fully staffed. Yeah, I know, I know I mean, you always do more. Yeah. I, I would love to have you know another full time detective mm -hmm. on staff, and, and we could always do more. But uh, you know, our staff does a great, uh, just super job in, in the public with public events and, and community relations. Um, you know, the last few years, and, and I think we've really um, we've really hit some some good goals, and we want to we want to raise those goals up higher yet. So we're extremely uh, hopeful. We're geared up to go once this thing does pass to to press on and, and move forward. And you've been chief since uh, a few months now, September. Since September, an assistant chief, and any regrets? Are you happy you you, you took the job, applied for the job because? When we talked the first time, you were thrilled. You were both thrilled, and this is what you wanted to do. And so, is it still what you want to do? I'm still thrilled. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've, we've got a great, great group of people. Yeah. We really do, and that that's going to make life easy on us. Yeah. Um, no regrets whatsoever. I'm, I'm still looking forward to 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 getting the job done and then bringing it to the next level. Okay. And Assistant Chief Murphy, how important is the fire levy to the fire department? Is it a similar situation where this is? Your budget? Very similar to what Chief Parthmore described. Uh, our percentage is a little bit lower since we have uh, EMS billing as mm -hmm. a, a secondary source of revenue. Our budget uh, is about 80% funded from the levy. Okay. But obviously that's still critical. I mean, operations would de definitely be uh, affected without the levy in place. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, you know, this is, um, this is going to happen every five years then, you know, where mm -hmm. voters will um, express confidence in safety services. Uh, so is, th is that a good thing to be on the ballot at the same time, you think? I, mean, I would say I ideally it would be mm -hmm. beneficial to not be on mm -hmm. the ballot at the same time. At some point, you know, voters might have to make a choice or 
you know, everybody's has to live within their means. So uh, when it comes time, some day down the road, and you have both levees on the ballot at the same time, that could that could be a hindrance. It could be a hindrance, but it also is uh, you know residents supporting safety services and. Certainly, residents understand the, the importance of safety services in Perkins Township and in any community for the most part. Um, what are you doing? When do you, uh, are you celebrating tonight? Or is there, are you going to be at some place celebrating? Um, I think the levy committee is getting around and we're going we're to gather at one of the local establishments and okay. look for the results. And we're going to look for you there then. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. You're the first guest tonight on Decision 2017, live from the Sandusky Register, and we'll, we'll be here first uh, with the results, and uh, so stay tuned we at will. Sandusky Register's Facebook page. Thank you very much for being on the program. Thank, thank you, man. You're welcome. We're going to take a break right now, and our next guest is Ottawa County Sheriff Steve Lavorchek to talk about Issue 1, the statewide ballot about um, crime victims' rights. We'll be back in just a moment.